Hello everyone and welcome. So here we have an example of a Wix website and I'm going to scroll down so you can see the form. So this is actually a PDF form, believe it or not, and I want to show you how I was able to put it in the website step by step. So let's dive right in. here in jotform.com and we are going to select sign up for free remember we don't need a pro account we can just get the free account to get started um, and sign up now notice that you can sign up with your social accounts or you just enter an email um, to fast forward let me show you how the screen looks after you go through the whole process okay so this is what we see as soon as we create the free account we're going to click create right here on the upper left hand corner. So we're going to start with the form and here we have several options, but the one that we want is the smart PDF form. So we're going to be able to fill it out on the website. Then the user can preview their answers. And on top of that, once you get the confirmation, you will get the attachment of the form. So that's what we're going for here. All right. So we are going to convert your document into an online form. So let me show you one second so you can see what I already created on PDF. Okay, so we created on PDF a simple form, nothing too fancy, but at least you can see the different fields. You can see there's a radius here, a drop down, and then some check boxes. So I think that will be a good start. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the form. So what we're going to do, we're going to upload the document okay so now you have the screen that says organization settings you can upload the logo on your company we are going to actually close this out because we need to show you a lot of the good things going on here now on the first name and last name notice how as you select the fields on the left okay you see how it's going to point you to the actual pdf form notice what's going on when once you select the last name goes here and so forth so the email also notice that the email though um, it's actually kind of strange okay so see what happens so the email somehow got switched into international that's fine we can definitely correct that here and then here we can say okay we can actually get rid of this label right here this is good that it's happening now because you might have this kind of uh, nuisances in their actual work also okay so now it looks better see so now notice how as i change the elements everything is now uh, put together you can add more elements or also uh, reposition them so if you need to change them uh, around you can do that notice that you can drag and drop so we're going to leave that as this and you can add more elements as i mentioned before here in this area so i'm going to even if you add a signature though let's say that you want to add a signature to the form at least in this version you will not see the label so and also on top of that you have to be careful and reposition the fields so they look good not only on the left but also on the right so right now that's a signature field see so everything is connected it's great so we're gonna leave it like that now I'm noticing something here. There's another international field. So we're going to move this up. Just bear with me one quick second. You're going to go ahead and do that. There you go. Perfect. All right. So that's how the user on the right is going to see the form. Okay. So let's get to it. On the build side, so we're here on the left. I'm going to scroll down here you have also the submit and preview pdf if you click on this area you're gonna see a little wheel for property so we're gonna check on that you can choose the style let me just show you real quick so you can change the colors and also you can have an image now um, if you now go into the advanced feature this is where it gets interesting because in the advanced feature you have the reset button which actually lets you lets the user clear the all of the entries and start over if they need to 
you can also have the user print the form if you want to make the field smaller we're going to leave it like that and then you can have an extra option to save and continue later okay so that's another alternative there i'm going to leave that unchecked but definitely the one that i'm very very interested in is in the preview pdf i want the user to actually be able to see what they're about to submit on pdf before we get it in the email so we're going to leave this guy on because that's the main start of the show okay so now we have everything here look it's looking good and let's go into settings all right so you can rename the form and again let me move towards the left and here you have the enable the form status is enabled you definitely want to keep it like that and i'm going to have those options that you so you can see what else is there so you can disable it disable on a specific date and you also have submission limits. So if you want to receive up to a thousand entries or 10,000, then you can disable the, the form. That's perfectly okay. And also you have the last option, disable on a specific date or at submission limit. So we're gonna leave it enable. I'm gonna X out of here. Original PDF connection to your online form is on. And now notice that you have a, the, the show PDF th thumbnail on the welcome page. So that's the default setting and I am going to uncheck it. Okay, so you can actually see how does it look with or without the thumbnail. And you have the enable preview PDF button at the end of your form. Yes, so we're going to leave that there. And we're going to continue scrolling down. So the icon that you're going to see, you can customize it but we're going to leave the PDF, the, the style that actually comes with JotForm. And then you have the show more options. Let's go ahead and take a peek here. Form warnings, change the warning messages on your form. Also the language, you can set the default language. Um, then you have the password protection. And we have also at the bottom, save and continue later. Again, it's actually disabled. And we have here the required SSO. So this is a more advanced if you want to have SSO enabled on your form. Unique fields. So you want to prevent users to submit in the form multiple times. Here you can validate that with the email, first name or last name. And let's see for accessibility. Also you can enable or disable it. Page title. So enter a title to be shown as the browser page title. So this is something that we can change real quick here, PDA form, clear hidden field values. So we are going to leave the rest of the settings the way they are. Okay, let me see. The only one actually, I'll take that back, the prevent cloning. I wanna say yes, just prevent other users from cloning this form. Definitely we wanna get keep that. And now I notice that there's not a save button or apply. It's because already a job form, it's going to save it for us. And we're going to select publish. So here is where you can uh, link the form. Okay, I'm actually going to copy that, copy this link. But also you can go into the embed options. So stay tuned because we are going to show you how it looks, okay, when we use the preview, let me go back here in settings. Yeah, when we use the PDF thumbnail and then when we don't. So uh, let me go ahead and get back to that screen. So I'm going to go back to publish and let's go and take a look at the embedding options. So here is where it's gonna get interesting because right now the default is a JavaScript version here and we can copy the code but also you have other options. If you want to insert the form in an iframe, WordPress, and let me continue down. Yes, if you wanna link this form to a pop-up and also a light box and then the source code. This will be good. Let's say that you wanna send this code to a developer or somebody to cannot just copy and paste in an email. You know, it probably will get flagged or blocked. So you want to download it in a zip file and then send it over. So uh, let's go into the first option, which is the copy code. Okay. And now I am going to switch back to the Wix 
side of things. Now we're going to go to the Wix website editor. Now I already kind of prepare the field before entering the code. The ideal way will be to add a section. So I'm just going to add one. That's fine. You add a section and then you're going to go to the plus sign where it says add elements on the left. And let's see. So one of the options, if you look carefully towards the bottom, is the embed code. So we're going to definitely pick that. And then I'm going to check the first one, the HTML. All right, so here, notice that you have the option to do a website address. And I'm going to here paste the code. So we're going to check the code, and Control V to paste, and I'm going to update it. Look at that. So it's showing the fields that we want. And I'm going to close this out for just one moment. And I'm going to expand the section in Wix. I'm going to make this big enough so the user can see all of the all of the fields and what's going on. You have the option to leave it like that and have the user scroll down. But you know what? We're going to go the extra mile and let's make this bigger. Let's stretch it out. So everything is in one page. You can make this wider too. We're going to continue moving down. There you go. Look at that. So now you have your form. You can clear the form. You can preview it. You can print it and you can continue. So I'm going to make sure that I save my changes right here on the upper right hand corner. Okay. And done. You can click preview just to see how it's looking. And look at that. So we have the form right here, and we're going to definitely go for a test drive. All right, so what I did here to move things along, I actually went back to the Jot form, and I'll show you in a minute, and I actually clicked on the thumbnail preview. So notice the different look. So basically what happened was I went to jotform.com, and under settings, okay, so here's what I changed to um, show PDF thumbnail. See, now it's checked. I am actually going to uncheck it. So if you look at it one more time, look at that. I mean, it's very hard to read it. It's kind of like in a little box. So we're going to make this right. And we're definitely going to uncheck the show PDF. And now we actually have to refresh the website. You should be able to see now the fields the way they were before. You know that they look flush with the actual website. There you go. Then we're back. We are back. Now, the favorite part, you've probably been waiting for this one. Let's check and test this actual form. And we're going to make sure that everything is working fine. So I'm going to my preview. Let me move this to the side. Because we are going to select preview right here. Okay. So now we can test it out. So we're just going to go back. Complete these fields. And I'm just actually entering. So we can preview the PDF. Look at that. Let me go back. So you have that option. You also, um, if you need to go back, you can go back to the form. If you need to make some changes right here, you can print the form. So I'm just going to, so you can see how it looks. There you go. And then you also can clear their entries. Are you sure you want to clear the form? Yes, let's go and start from scratch. And you can also clear the signature. So now if I move up, everything is as good as new. So I am going to then just submit the form real quick. Let me know in the comments, okay, what other questions you have about this PDF dynamic form and any other videos that you would like to see about web technology and so forth. So I'm going to click continue and then you have, you have a disclosure. I understand and accept that my electronic signature will be as valid as a handwritten signature and consider original to the extent allowed by applicable law. Look at that. So you have that disclaimer on the form and you should see the thank you notice right here. Okay, so 
Now let's take a look once the user receives it. Okay, so we are here and look at that. So this is how you are going to get the form. So in this case, of course, I send the email to myself. So you have the same address, both as a client and also as a web developer. Not only do you get the actual entry, kind of like a screenshot, right, of what happened on the website, but what's cool about it is that you can double click on the attachment and then you see the entry that was submitted. That is super awesome. The user, as a user, you're actually going to see this. Notice that the PDF form was completed successfully. And also the user can see the attachment as well. So double click on that. Very, very, very awesome. Now make sure that you add your logos, that you know you test it out, please test it out. I would say to yourself and also to an external email so you see how everything looks. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to also check how the entry looks in different devices from a mobile phone, from the computer, just to make sure that the user has the best experience. All right, so uh, we have concluded this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was beneficial. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and what other features would you like to see. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.